So, Novi, before I press start, it's been about a month. A lot has happened. Uh, I got a job. I grew facial hair, and I have a kitten. And you're single. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, do you remember what was happening last in the story? And I don't expect um, you to say yes. <laughs> um, what, um... Uh, well, we played as alien guys at one point because he got demoted because he was he fucked up and they destroyed the halo um halo getting destroyed was, uh, they they pinned on him yeah and, and he got we went, and then we went and then we went and had to find like the one like rebellion guy the heretic uh, leader yeah yeah and the we, heretic leader and then we, we kind of like sympathized with him a little though yeah, you, or you didn't sympathize, but you were willing to listen to what he had to say, which was more than anyone yeah. else. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, then some big guy, big hairy guy, showed up and kind of ruined the moment. And yeah, uh, oh, three, 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 four, three, guilty spark was there. Yeah, I remember that. Him uh, Winton. Back up. Winton. Yeah, Winton was there, and he tried to explain things, and then the the big hairy guy took him. And kind of mistreated him. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. They, we were like, because we were like, wait, like that's like that's like a biblical figure. Yeah, that, that's that's our, that's the like, holy he's oracle. Like, and he's like, I don't give a shit. And he just kind of <laughs> yeah. tosses it over. He's like, I do not care. Shut yeah. up. And that, that was really the end of that. That was the last mission we played. Okay, I just wanted to do a quick recap before we press start because it's been it actually has been about a month. Yeah. Oh, I'm in. Okay. Oh, and with Chief, last we saw, we slipped space through the, the city. And the whole planet went nuclear. I don't know about the planet, but that city got fucked. <laughs> yeah, at least that. Ma'am, there's an object coming into view now. Cortana, what exactly am I looking at? That is another Halo. Say what? So this is what my father found. I thought Halo was some sort of super weapon. It is. If activated, this ring will cause destruction on a galactic scale. I want all the information you've got on the first Halo. Schematic, topography, whatever. I don't care if I have the clearance or not. Yes, ma'am. Where's our target? The enemy ship has stopped above the ring, ma'am. We're going to pass right over it. Perfect. Given what we know about this ring, it's even more important that we capture the Prophet of Regret. Find out why he came to Earth. Why oh, and we figured out that the Covenant have these uh, figures called Prophets. Mm-hmm. We're going, we're dropping in. Where are we dropping? This is one of my favorite tracks. Or a snippet of it, anyways. Mind the bump. How about a rocket? I guess so. <laughs> Alright, Noby. Is the game gonna... Um... <laughs> Are you about to crash again? <laughs> uh... I think so, yeah. Did you just crash? Mm-hmm. Oh, we're in the game. Or I am, anyways. Nobi! Okay, there we go. Nobi! Hello? <laughs> oh. Oh, 
<laughs> you, you, you really got me with that one. You really, you, you really, you really got me with that one. You, you, you really, you really got me with that one. I fucking took out a marine with me. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, check out these Marines. They're not wearing typical armor. Yeah, why? That's wrong. Uh, I wouldn't have killed them. They actually would have been helpful. No, they wouldn't. Have. Okay. Uh, they are ODSTs. They are not Marines. They are the orbital shock drop troopers. Yeah, well, they look different, so I don't like. They are better than a typical marine. <laughs> Obviously not. They couldn't live a rocket. The the oh, drop the the drop pods um, that we dropped in. Yes. They're they're the troopers that are normally sent in these. Not a typical marine is trained for those. Yeah, because I mean they they die in like two shots. Well, they so don't obviously. exactly survive a fucking rocket, Novi. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would. Uh, we already disproved that. <laughs> not, not in the game. I mean, in real life. <laughs> uh, so in my free time at work. I say free time at work, that... While I'm working, I should say. Uh, <laughs> I've been listening... <laughs> I've been listening to, uh, some Halo audiobooks. In my free time at work, I've been touching myself in the bathroom. I've been listening to the first book, which was, uh, Fall of Reach. Which takes place just before Combat Evolved. And it, okay. it, the ending of it is the beginning of Combat Evolved. Oh. And then I'm listening to the second book. I've just finished that book up today, and I started the second one today. The second one is basically just a book of the first game. Mm. They're really good books. At least the first one is, and the second one so far is. Uh oh. Shot off its turrets. But the uh the book bounces between characters so each chapter, at least the first one, each chapter mm -hmm. switched perspective so okay. sometimes it'll be from chief's perspective sometimes it'll be from captain keys's perspective sometimes halsey you don't know who halsey is i just realized that cortana no no i just mean i want a book entirely from cortana's perspective. well there, there are a couple uh times where it's from her uh, the very last chapter i remember is from her perspective isn't her perspective just Master Chief? No. I say perspective. When I say perspective, I mean like her. Th you actually get to see or read what her thoughts are. Mm, okay. Where you got to read. You got to read about the first time that Cortana and Chief worked together, or when Cortana was um. Uh, what do you call it? implanted in Chief? Yeah. And I finally now know the backstory on a uh, uh, chief and the Spartan program, which I guess I can tell you about because they really don't explain it in the uh, the games. Holy shit! He got us in one swipe. Um. So chief. When there was a doctor, 
called Dr. Catherine Halsey in the year 20... God, it was like 2520-something, I think, mm -hmm. that got permission from a Black Ops unit called Oni, or O-N-I, to abduct children and basically raise them for war. Or for to be soldiers. Basically that sounds the, awesome. the only only thing that they will be they will have been raised to do is to be a soldier. Um and it was her and Ow. Her and I think it was Lieutenant. I don't remember what his rank was, but it was Jacob Keys. Mm -hmm. When he was first it was one of his first assignments. And it was both of them went around. Watch behind you. Okay. Um, it was one of his first assignments, and they went around abducting children. Hell yeah. Um, they would. They would. They would deem if the child is uh, qualified. I don't. Uh, they they had. I, I don't want to go too in depth, but they would see if the child is qualified, and if they were, they would steal the kid. Um, these are like six-year-olds to give you an idea of age. Yeah. Um, and then leave a clone that would soon die of natural causes so that the parents would just, just... thought their kid was weak. Yeah. Um, I got a good view coming in. so that's why, in the of this yeah, anyways, there were like 75 Sorry. kids abducted. I think it was 75. If I were a and they were all trained that, and then augmented. Um, and at eight, I think they say at like 12 years old, they had the bodies of 18 year olds. Oh. They basically become fully grown pretty quick because of the augments. And they're mm -hmm. like se seven feet tall. They're fucking huge. Um, up. We're out. Do you want a gun or drive? Yeah. Seat for me. I guess I'm here. Um, anyways. Where am I going? That way. So they steal the kids and they're breeding them for war to fight the insurrectionists. At the time, they did not know about the Covenant. It just so happened that the Covenant attacked and they're like, oh, well, we have these Spartans that are kind of secret, but, you know, the uh, humanity needs a morale boost right now, so we'll tell them about the Spartans. Yeah. And this way, because of the Covenant attack or invasions, they you know, aren't so upset about the uh, the background of the Spartans and, you know, them being abducted as kids. Yeah. They won't really, you know, bat an eye to it of, you know, well, thank God we have these Spartans. They don't have to think about why <laughs> or how. But at some point... Oh, th so there were 75... Uh, fuck me. There were 75 of them, and once they went through the augments, not all of them survived. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember how many didn't live, but I remember 10 lived, but were uh, heavily handicapped. Like, some of them vegetative state. Okay. That's cool. Um, one was blind. One couldn't use their legs. I know that um, they, they describe one of their bodies just looking inhuman like completely mangled and contorted after yeah. the augments it's it's pretty fucking graphic um yeah. trying to think of what else there is to say oh anyways <laughs> they eventually get their armor and chief uh at this point is or it's throughout early on chief proved what? himself to be a good leader and he became okay. the leader of the spartans he was not the, uh, I think the words they used was, he he's not the, he's not the strongest, he's not, you know, the smartest, and he's not the fastest, but he was the most brave. He was he the was most, that guy. He, was, he was the most brave and the most fearless, and he had the best luck, is I think how they phrased it. He was the most lucky of all of them. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta be pretty lucky to get abducted as a six-year-old. <laughs> um, 
Oh, no, the Spartans, uh, they, they were very appreciative of it, of it all. As far as they're oh. concerned, they were chosen for a higher purpose. And they view the oh, doctor that abducted them. Oh, <laughs> shit. Uh -oh. They, they view the doctor that abducted them, Captain, uh, Catherine Halsey. They view her basically as the closest thing they have to a mom. Huh. This was sort of indoctrination. Um, but yeah, there were 75 Spartans initially. A bunch didn't survive. I don't remember how many were left. Oh, there's a tank back there. I forgot about that. This is my favorite song on the soundtrack. Um, fuck, what else is there to say? Oh, so, uh, Chief had his own, like, group he called Blue Team. And that consisted mm -hmm. of... Oh, I guess you can drive. Hang on. There. It's just like red versus blue. Oh, there isn't a... Uh... Oh. Ow. Sorry, <laughs> oh, you're in the way. Fucking hell. Alright. So... Fuck, where was I? I was gonna say something, I forgot what. The whole tank thing distracted me. Blue team. Oh, there was blue team. Uh, it consisted of five Spartans. Chief, who led it. Uh, Linda. Kelly. Or Linda, who was the sharpshooter. Kelly, who okay. was the fastest. Uh... Samuel, who I think was... He was the strongest, I think? And then Fred, or Frederick. And I don't remember what Fred's niche was. I know he was a smartass. He was kind of the jokester. Oh. He died um, first. Anyways... I'm calling it. One of their first missions, or the, actually their first mission in their armor, which was the armor before the ones, actually two sets of armor before we're currently wearing. So we're in the Mark VI armor. This would have been the Mark IV armor. Their first mission in their, their brand new armor, uh, and basically going onto a Covenant ship. This was before they had shields. They didn't discover that yet. Uh... Samuel died. Plas uh, plasma bolt burned through his uh, his armor, and he stayed on a Covenant cruiser to pull the detonation trigger, more or less. Or no, no, their way out, uh, their way off the ship was through space, and because his suit was ruptured, there was no way he was going to survive. So he stayed and fought until the end. That's what it was. Oh, okay. Um. Anyway, Samuel died, so it was just four of them left. But she, that that was just like his close friends, basically. Oh, oh no. Uh, Sam and Kelly were Chief's closest friends growing up when he was a kid. Yeah. Um. So Sam dying took a toll on Chief. He was like pretty goddamn pissed. That's and, valid. And then Reach began to fall. Uh, remember at the very beginning of the... There's a game called Halo Reach for one, but at the very beginning of Combat Evolved, there's a quick line that Captain Keys makes of uh, the fleet that destroyed Reach was 50... T or at, the, at the beginning of this game, too, they make a, always make a comment in one of the games about Reach, and that's the planet. And that the yeah. co Covenant fucking swarmed Reach, which was one of their key outposts, and destroyed the world. Okay. Um, Reach basically was one of the closest things that Chief had to a homeworld or a safe place. And he took that tough. Especially since all the Spartans, except him and Linda, stayed behind on Reach to fight. Yeah. And they were all presumed dead. So as far as he knew, 
It was him and Linda left alive. Now, Linda, just before the events of Combat Evolved, got heavily injured, and Chief put her into uh, Cryopod to hopefully save her. Now, according to the books, last thing we know of her was she was put into a cryopod in a pelican before the events of combat evolved. Mm -hmm. That's all we know about her, and all the other Spartans are presumed dead. In the, okay. Spart in the Spartan 2 program, which is what we were in. So we're a Spartan 2 soldier. Chief was the only one... Uh, to my knowledge, Chief is the only one with the shield technology. According to the book, anyways, at the time, he was the only one that had the shield technology out of all the Spartans, because it was expensive and, you know, reverse engineered and all that shit. Yeah. Um, and he was the only one that had an AI. Now, there are AIs in this game, but... They're not very, uh, they're not based off of anyone. Basically, an AI created from scratch, sort of, uh, you know the difference, uh, between a VI and an AI? Yeah. They're more like VIs. Okay. Cortana is a true AI. They call them, in the Halo universe, they call them smart AIs and, uh, dumb AIs. Nice. Cortana's a smart AI, and the reason she's deemed that is because she was based off of a human. She's actually based mm -hmm. off of someone. It's literally, she has the memories of that person up to her being created. And that's uh, Dr. Catherine Halsey that she was based off of. Careful, so okay. Cortana is, even in looks, looks and sounds like Dr. Halsey, the woman that abducted Chief as a kid. Yeah. And that's oh, really where I'm at right now in the book, and that's all I know. Okay, sure. Tank! Oh, you know what? I was going to say let's see an easter egg, but I don't think we can get to there. Oh no, we we might be able to. Nobody, you want to try a grenade jump? Uh, sure. All right, well, if this fails, we'll uh we'll edit this out the video. As a Yeah, there's Did a uh, there's a modifier that we don't have enabled, which would help. I didn't do anything. All right. There's fucking cat toys everywhere. All right. Well, that didn't work, so let's move on. Oh shit! I have no ammo. I should probably fix that. I was about to say, do you want the tank? But I don't think I can go any farther once I'm up this, uh... Ow. Pelican inbound. Let's clear a landing zone. I forgot there's a chain gun on this. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Pelican, please! Uh, no. Nobi, back here. They're all pouring out of the middle. Let's get in there. They, uh, they dropped weapons for us. The Covenant hold up in the middle of this structure. We need to clear them out. Where? Oh, right here. I okay. may have just grabbed the two best weapons here. <laughs> oh no, there's a rocket over here. You can have the rocket. They won't let me pick it up. Oh wait, oh, there we go, more ammo. Where'd the... Wait, oh, it's in here. Fucker. Oh, 
Oh, and did you know that the entire time uh, we were playing Combat Evolved, there was a uh, an elite and a grunt that was hunting us throughout the entire game? Nope. In the elevator ride, just it, it, in the final mission in the elevator ride, just as we're going up to the uh, to do the the warthog run at the end there. Yeah. There was an uh, an elite and a couple grunts that we fight. That was him, and his grunt. Uh, one of those grunts was his friend. Oh. We. Why did we jump down? Why did I follow you? Nobody follow me. I don't know. <laughs> um. They were hunting us the entire time. I don't remember the elite's name. Uh, but I want to say the grunt's name was... Makaduku. I think it's... Y is it Yap Yap or is am I thinking of another grunt? Yap Yap? <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, calling him Yap Yap is messed up. Y-A-P space Y-A-P. That might be a different grunt, though. There are a couple grunts that have uh, uh, important roles. Ow! Fucking beam rifle! Okay. Yeah. Toby, quick, uh, clip that. Clip that. Uh, We're gonna test this. <laughs> cool, what's down there? Probably nothing good. Did you do it? Or did you press the hotkey? I, I pressed it. it we'll see worked. if that worked later. Watch, you, you've pressed it and your just computer crashes. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I'm out of ammo again. Well... <laughs> but there's a lot of dialogue in Halo 3 uh, and Halo 4 that calls back specifically to the Fall of Reach novel. And it's one of those I never read the book before, and I yeah. didn't. I couldn't fully appreciate what Halo Three and Four were doing until I read the book or listened to the book. And now, in like retrospective, I'm like, oh, now I'm excited to play the game again because I can now understand the the fucking references it's making. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I'll... Eh, never mind. Off the rock, through the bush, nothing but jackal. You want their version of the sniper? I think I already have it. Oh no, I had the... I had you have the carbine. Else. There we go. I just have a regular sniper, but there are snipers through here. Nice places. Oh. This is another great um. song. Show no mercy. What are these flying things? They're drones. They're weak. They're basically think of them as flying grunts. <laughs> oh.
Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I like my uh Go. But what is that? Was what? That green light over there. Uh. Oh, it's a. F <laughs> it's an uh, enemy it's charging the. There we go. Oh, something I realized I I may not have told you yet. The little plasma pistol, the the thing that had the mm -hmm. glowing green light. Remember in the first game we could overcharge it, and it didn't yeah. have a use outside of overcharging. Well, now it actually has its own use. When you overcharge the plasma pistol and fire at a vehicle, it uh it EMPs it the vehicle. It. Oh. It acts as an EMP for it. vehicles. That's sick. I thought I noticed it kind of tracking stuff. Earlier. Oh, it does that too. Yeah. It's odd. The Covenant know we made landfall, but they don't seem to consider us a very serious threat. Boy, are they in yeah, we're not. You should Is walk the pistol still really good? Uh, no, not in this game. They severely nerfed it. Damn. I'm dual wielding pistols. You look like a badass. Uh, oh, yeah, I do. Oh, uh, since recording last, fucking the season two finale of the Halo TV show came out. And it still has yet oh. to be renewed for season three. Watch yourself, honor guards. Oh shit! <laughs> Fucking zoom! Right. God damn it! All right. Oh yeah. Uh. Oh shit! I'm out of ammo. 